it is a little bit hot today isn't it what is the temperature okay so today it is 26 degrees i'm filming this on thursday tomorrow friday 29 degrees saturday 32 degrees 32 degrees but anyway Hello, today I'm gonna to be filming a video that I have been waiting to film for such a long time, but one of the items just took quite a long time to turn up. So I've just been waiting and waiting to film this. I've been so excited about it. So I came up with this idea a little while ago. I'm pretty sure it's never been done before. So I think we might have an original idea. Well, hey, I am basically only gonna be using custom beauty products for the next 24 hours. So I've ordered a bunch of custom beauty products, obviously. So basically, you know those products that are like, take this quiz to get your customized item or those websites where you can like customize your own palettes and stuff like that. I've basically ordered a bunch of products like that. We're gonna test them all out, see if they're any good. I'm mostly excited for the eyeshadow palette because I was able to make my own eyeshadow palette, not only pick the shades, but I got to design the packaging and I haven't even looked at it yet. In fact, I haven't looked at any of the products yet. I'm gonna kind of like unbox them as we go but yeah i think i should just get on with the video i hope you enjoy it give it a thumbs up if you like this idea and i will i was about to say <laughs> i was about to end my video because i said thumbs up i was about to say and i'll see you very soon <laughs> but so the first thing i need to do is my freaking hair in my mouth that was a bit aggressive. The first thing I need to do is my morning skincare routine. So I found a website that does custom skincare products. They are called Face Theory. Oh, by the way, none of this video is sponsored, by the way. This is just all, I bought them all myself. It's not sponsored. The brand is called Face Theory. So I'm gonna cut to the clip that I filmed about a month ago, I think, when I made the order. And you can see me doing the quiz. So you're currently watching Sophie from the past. I'm gonna get my custom skincare. The brand that I'm gonna be using is called Face Theory. So just www.facetheory.com. Um, but yeah, it just says build your routine. So I'm gonna click that. How old are you? I am between 16 and 30. What is your preferred approach to skincare? Fast or multi-step? Oh, fast. What is your complexion? Light slash fair. How would you describe your skin? Oily, combination, dry or sensitive? Oh, sensitive for sure. <laughs> Do you have any of the following? Choose as many as you like. Um, I don't really get breakouts, but I get the occasional spots and I do get blackheads sometimes so should i click that one i guess so i don't get fine lines i sometimes get dryness i don't think my pores are overly large i'm not really sure dullness what we're we talking about my face or my personality <laughs> and then sun damage or pigmentation i don't think so so i think i'm just gonna go for those two tick if the following are true i'm pregnant or tr no I am definitely not pregnant or trying. If I'm honest, I don't really think any of them are true, but if I've got to pick one, I'm gonna go for I just want better skin because I've got to pick one. I mean, I'm quite happy with my skin, but if I have to pick one, I'm gonna go for that one. Do you prefer gently scented or unscented? Oh, I'm gonna say gently scented because then I can have a good sniff. <laughs> okay, so I'm now just gonna press get results and we shall see what we've got. Okay, your routine for your sensitive skin. What have we got? So I've got a vitamin C cleanser. I've got a Amyl C whip. I mean, what's a whip when it comes to skincare? We've got a Center Soothe Serum. I have no idea what that is either. But yeah, these are the products that they've recommended me. I'm just gonna add them all to my bag. Um, it says up here, buy this routine. So I'm just gonna press this. And there we go, 47.97 for my three skincare products. So yeah, I'm just gonna make my order now. And that is my skincare done. So yeah, this is what arrived. I'm going to unbox it and then we're gonna head into the bathroom and I'll test them out. So yeah, let me just try and get into this box somehow. Oh, there we go. So the first thing I have is the vitamin C cream cleanser. Let's give it a sniff. I'm guessing it's gonna smell, I was gonna say smell like vitamin C, but what does that smell like, oranges? <laughs> It smells like oranges. Vitamin C smells like oranges. I'm not stupid. Oh, that is a nice smell. Like that is a proper nice fresh scent. This is what it looks like. It's just like a creamy kind of thick, like really thick texture. Oh, we've also got the Amel C Whip. I remember the whip. Oh, this is thick thick. Like that is literally solid in there. Wow. So yeah, it's definitely like a whipped 
texture, I think. So I feel like this one doesn't really smell like anything. It says it's gently scented, but that's very gently scented. Like I just can't smell anything, but yeah, it's just a really, really thick texture. So I feel like that would be a really good moisturizer. And then lastly, I've got the Center Soothe Botanical Serum, Dragon's Blood. I don't like blood. <laughs> Is it serious? Wait, no, but a dragon's real. They're not real, are they? I'm having an absolute moment. <laughs> dragons aren't real, are they? <laughs> No. <laughs> They're not like real. The flying ones and... They're not real. It's no. just, it says it contains dragon's blood. I was just having a moment where I was like, a dragon's real. And then I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, no. My brain was going like, yeah, no, yeah, no. Of course they're not real. I knew that. Thanks. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's in like a little bottle with a little squeezy. Oh, can you hear that? It's got a nice sound to it. Okay, so I'm squeezing it. I'm letting go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't like the smell of that one. Ugh. I don't really like the smell of that. Um, anyway, those are my skincare products. These are the ones that I'm gonna use this morning and then the serum I think will be better to use tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna head into the bathroom and test these out. Welcome back to my bathroom. It's probably a little bit echoey in here, but never mind. I'm gonna start off with the cleanser. So it says, splash your face with warm water. So I'm gonna start off by, <gasps> that nearly fell off the sink. I've splashed my face. Um, <laughs> apply a small amount of cleanser and massage in to refresh and renew. Get a little bit on my finger like that and I'm just gonna rub it into my skin. I mean, it feels like a very nice creamy texture and that smell, oh, that smells so nice. And then for the moisturizer, it says, I can barely read that, that is some small writing. S what? Smooth, evenly, over your entire cleansed face. I mean, I probably didn't need to read that. I think it's pretty obvious how to use a moisturizer, but there you go. So I'm just gonna take a bit of this thick old thing. That is so... I am an absolute idiot. So there I was going, oh, look how thick it is. Luckily, it's all landed on the sink and the sink is freshly cleaned. So I am going to scoop it out of that big pile and put it back in the pot because I'm not gonna waste all of that. I'm such an idiot. Give me a sec. Okay, we've saved it. It's pretty much back in the pot. I've just got a little bit left over here on my fingers and I'm gonna use that to moisturize my face. I tell you what, this does feel really nice and moisturizing. I'm not so sure of the smell of this one, but it feels really nice on my skin. Obviously it's kind of hard to test skincare when you've only used it once. I feel like you've got to use it for a while to work out if it works for you. But for a first impression, I think they worked really well and I haven't had an allergic reaction. So that is amazing. I'd say they're pretty good. I'm gonna keep using them. Um, next time I won't tip the bottle upside down and pour it all over my sink. What an absolute idiot. <laughs> So I'm now gonna do my makeup. I've got pretty much a full face of custom beauty products. I think the only things I couldn't get were an eyebrow product and a mascara. I'm pretty sure they don't make those in custom format. I mean, I might be wrong, but I couldn't find any. So yeah, but I've got everything else. I'm gonna start off with foundation. Okay, so for my custom foundation, I'm gonna be using a website called Il Maquillage. I bet I'm saying that wrong. I think that's how you pronounce it, Il Maquillage. You're right. What is your skin type? Dry, married to my moisturizer. Oily, I live for powder. Combination, each part of my face has a mind of its own. Or balanced, yeah, I'm blessed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm blessed. To be fair, I think I'm gonna have to go for balanced because I don't really think I'm any of them. So yeah, I'm blessed. I mean, my skin is sometimes a bit dry, but not enough that I'm married to my moisturizer. So I'm just gonna go for balanced. What kind of coverage are you craving? Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go for medium to full. What kind of finish are you looking for? Matte, natural, luminous, babes, I have no idea. <laughs> babes, I have no idea. Babes, I think I'm gonna have to go for natural. Yeah, let's go for natural. Brilliant, we are now going to show you some photos. Photos of what? <laughs> okay, we've got 50 shades. Which one of these is closest to your skin tone? Um, I'm gonna go for my natural skin tone, not when I'm fake tanned. So I'm gonna go for fair light. Love it, let's get a bit more precise. Which one of these most resembles your skin tone? Maybe the second one? Let's go even deeper. 
Which one of these best matches your skin tone? Um, probably the second one again. <laughs> now let's figure out your undertone. I don't know this. I've never known what my undertone is. I'm gonna say, I don't know, help me decide. <laughs> All good, we'll get you sorted. Turn your light on. My light's already on. Push your sleeves up done and have a good look no it didn't say a good look <laughs> just said have a look at the veins on the inside of your wrists are they more purple or green they just look blue to me but if i had to pick i'd say it's more of a greeny blue so i think i'm just gonna go for that do you look better in gold or silver jewelry what's that got to do with anything <laughs> i don't know one of the options is babes i look good in everything i might have to go for that because I like both of them. We're going for that. What happens to your skin when you're out in the sun? I burn fast, I tan but can burn if I stay out too long, or I tan slash darken. I'd say I tan but I can burn if I stay out too long. During this time of year, does your skin tone tend to get darker or lighter? It doesn't really change, but I guess if I'm out in the sun, it gets a little bit darker. Right then, we're getting a little jealous. Jealous of what? <laughs> <laughs> this website is so funny. But let's talk about your current everyday foundation. How do you usually apply it? With a blender slash sponge. Do you usually prep your skin before applying foundation? I don't. Oh no, I do use a moisturizer. So I'm gonna click that one. How often do you wear foundation? Oh, one day a week. Oh no, I'll probably two. I'm gonna say two days a week. <laughs> Which foundation brand are you currently using? The one that I've been using a lot recently is the Dior one. Have they got that on there? Oh, they do, they've got Dior. That's the one that I've been using at the moment. How long have you been using your current foundation? Less than five, six, can't read. <laughs> Less than six months. What are your biggest skin concerns? Um, I mean, out of all of these, I'd probably say, oh, I'm gonna go with this one. Redness, irritation, and or sensitivity. Because I guess my only skin concern is that I do have very sensitive skin on my face. What's your age bracket? Okay, so I'm the third one down. I'm the third one down, I'm getting old. <laughs> 26 to 35. Oh, it's finding my match. Okay, so we're done. Okay, so it's given me the woke up like this flawless base foundation in the shade number 40. So, I mean, I guess that is the one that should hopefully match me. So I'm just gonna add this to my basket. Um, Want to try your concealer match? Uh, oh, it's a bit rude, it's called the I'm flawless concealer. <laughs> Let's do that as well. I'm gonna add the concealer, which is in the shade 2.5. And that is that one done. So my order has come to 60 pounds for the foundation and the concealer. And they have chosen my shade that should apparently match me perfectly. So I guess we'll see about that. <laughs> So this is the box that it came in. I haven't even looked at it yet, so I have no idea if this is gonna be my shade, but we shall have a look. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the foundation. This is the Woke Up Like This Flawless Base Foundation, and it selected shade number 40 for my skin tone. Who knows if that's gonna match me, honestly. I'm thinking it's not. So it comes in a nice little fancy box, and then this is Okay, let's get it out. I mean, immediately I'm thinking, it's gonna be too dark for me, isn't it? Honestly, that, that's not gonna match. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. I'm just gonna dab a little bit on my face. So I've just put a little splodge down here. I don't even know if you guys can see it. On camera, it probably looks like it matches me because I've got the bright lights on my face, which just lighten everything up. But I'm telling you, in real life, that does not match my neck in the slightest like it is definitely way too dark for me yeah i must have answered something wrong like <laughs> okay so i've just put some all over my face and i'm now going to blend it in Okay, so I've just finished blending it all out. I feel like the foundation is quite nice, but it just don't match me, does it? I'm gonna turn the brightness down a bit because I feel like on camera, no, even on camera, you can tell it doesn't match me, but I don't think you can tell just how much it doesn't match me. So I'm gonna turn the brightness down. This is how much it doesn't match me. <laughs> quite a lot really but the lucky thing is this is probably going to be a perfect match when i am fake tanned i feel like shade 40 that'll be fine when i'm tanned so i will still be able to use it just not when i'm my natural skin tone <laughs> so i also picked up their oh yeah it was a bit rude i'm flawless multi-use perfecting concealer um in this one it picked me the shade 2.5 so hopefully this is a little bit more successful 
chunky. Oh my goodness, that is the chunkiest concealer bottle I've ever seen. Wow, it is actually giant. Oh goodness. <laughs> This is the kind of shade that I would have needed for my actual face, I feel like. But yeah, I'm just gonna blend this out. I mean, it's blending out really nicely. It's a really nice formula. Like both of them have felt like really nice products. I should probably blend that foundation down my neck, shouldn't I? Cause I look a little bit ridiculous. <laughs> Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. No, that really doesn't look better, does it? How did I not realise that that looks so bad still? Also, why did I not use the concealer all over my face to lighten things? I don't know, but yeah, please ignore the foundation in this video. It looks very patchy, it looks very orange, it looks very bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, I'm now going to move on to the rest of my face. I ordered a palette, which I think had a powder, bronzer, blush and highlight. So yeah, now... <gasps> This is the one that cost me quite a lot because it had really expensive shipping and I had to pay and I had to pay customs on it. So I think it ended up co co come on, love. I think it ended up costing me like seventy pounds. So hope it's great. <laughs> So I wanted to make a custom face palette and I came across this website called findingferdinand.com. I don't know if it's legit, but we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> so yeah, they do some custom beauty products over here. And the one that I'm gonna be doing is the custom makeup palette. So yeah, it's given me six slots to fill and I've got a load of bronzers, highlighters and blushes to choose from. So where do I begin? The thing that I need is a powder. So I might add this first shade. I feel like that looks like it'll be light enough to be a powder. So I'm gonna add the shade eggnog. Then for bronzer, I'm gonna go for light bronzer and I'm also gonna go for a slightly darker one in sunkissed bronzer so these days i definitely prefer a pinky blush and there's not that many pinky ones to choose from they're more like nudie colors so i think i'm gonna go for this like brighter pink in the shade pank and I'm also gonna add No Regrets, which is like a slightly more toned down pink. And then finally, I'm gonna add a highlighter. I think the only one out of these highlighters that would match me is probably Golden Glow. So I'm gonna add that one as well. And that is my little palette made. It doesn't look like anything special, does it? Oh my goodness, I get to name my palette. I'm gonna call it La Luna very on brand let's just call it that same name as my animal crossing island so buy it now how much is this 44 dollars what is that when you translate it into pounds i think like 30 something pounds that's not too bad so yeah i'm just gonna complete my purchase and we shall see what this ends up like i'm so skeptical skept <laughs> i'm so skeptical of this one like honestly i don't have a clue what i'm gonna end up with but anyway you shall find out now I have to wait ages to find out, but you get to find out any second. So this is what I received. It is currently looking like a box because that's literally what it is, it's a cardboard box. So the first thing I've got is a little free brush. I think it's a free brush. I don't remember buying this. So thanks for the freebie. This is what the palette looks like. Ooh, oh yeah, I named it La Luna, didn't I? <laughs> so it's got a little thingy on the back like that. Right, are we ready? Okay, okay. I mean, it's nothing breathtaking, but it looks all right. Oh, 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 we have some cellophane on the mirror. Cellophane on the mirror. I repeat, cellophane on the mirror. Are you ready? <laughs> that was not a good sound. I did it too quick. I'm sorry. So I'm just going to start off with the powder and I'm going to pop that all over my face. I mean, it's okay. It's definitely mattified my skin a little bit. So I'm now just gonna take a bit of the lighter bronzer and I'm just gonna use that to, well, I don't really need to bronze my face up, but we're gonna do that anyway. <laughs> I'd say that's a pretty good bronzer. It's blended out quite nicely. It wasn't too like intense. It was quite subtle, which was good. So I'd say the bronzer's pretty good. So for blush, I've got like a brighter pink or a darker pink. I think I'm just gonna go for the brighter one. Okay, so the blush is not quite as subtle as the bronzer. I'm just gonna try to tone that down a little bit, but it is a nice shade. It's exactly what I would have expected from looking at that. It's just like a bright pink color. And then finally, we've got the highlighter, which is like a champagne-y kind of color. So I'm just gonna take a little little bit of that. I have a feeling you're not going to be my new fave, but we'll give her a go. Okay. It's a really nice shade and it's applied really nicely as well. Like I really like that. 
Look at that. That, okay, no, that is a good highlighter. Oh my goodness. It's so nice. I really like it. I think it's a really nice little palette. Pretty much everything worked really well. And I think my base looks pretty good. So yeah, was it worth like 70 quid? No, but it was fun to like make your own little face palette. And I think the products do work well. So that is a relief. <laughs> so like I said, I couldn't find a custom eyebrow product. So I'm just gonna quickly go and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back and we can, <gasps> Then it's time for the eyeshadow palette. I'm so excited to see it. <laughs> okay, now for my custom eyeshadow palette. This is probably the bit that I am most excited about. The brand is called Butanomy. Butanom. Wait, what? www.butanomy.com. And they basically do custom eyeshadow palettes. 50% off everything right now. So I'm just gonna click create yours now and then it should take me to the little, their logo looks like the Beauty Bay logo. I've got eight little slots to fill with the eyeshadows and I've got a bunch to choose from down here. We've got shimmers, matte, glitter, duochrome. Okay, I'm gonna go for this one in the shade Desert Sand. That looks like the most kind of transition-y kind of color. I'm gonna go for the shade Brick, which is like a darker brown. I'm also gonna go for the shade K-pop, which is like a kind of pinky color. They don't really have any like bright red colors, otherwise I'd go for that. But I think the closest is gonna be pure orange, which is like a bright orange. Now I'm gonna move on to Shimmer and I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get like a light shimmer. So I'm gonna go for this one in the shade Golden Sugar. I'm also gonna go for the shade Hawaiian Punch because I feel like that kind of fits in with the theme of the palette. And then I guess these are like the pressed glitters. I'm gonna go for, oh, this one's called Comet. I'm gonna go for this one. It's like a pinky kind of glitter color. This one's called Moonset. I'm gonna go for Moonset, which is like a, I don't really know how to explain it, but you guys can see. I think that kind of works. This this might be really sad, but I'm gonna use my YouTube banner because I just think it would look so cute on a palette. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that. And then I'm pretty sure you can change. You can't change. Okay, so I've just spent a while having a look because I was certain you could also customize the back and the inside of the packaging. Turns out you can't. So that's that done. The next step is to change the text. So you can basically change the shade names. I think I'm gonna do this bit off camera because it's probably gonna take me ages, but I think that's the last thing that you can do. So because it's currently 50% off, £12.50 for your own custom eyeshadow palette. I think that is pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm so excited for it to turn up and we shall see if the eyeshadows are actually any good. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this little skinny box. I'm just gonna get it out. I have been waiting to get this out for so long because I think this was one of the first things that arrived. Like it came so quickly, um, but I wanted to open it on camera. So I've just had it sat in my room for all of these weeks. This might be really anticlimactic. I've been hyping this up and it might be really naff. Okay, so the eyeshadows come separately. They just come in these little packets like this. I need to like slot them into the palette. But first of all, let's have a look at this. It's really small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it's quite anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, it's cute, but it's nothing crazy. This was so cheap though, wasn't it? I mean, what was I gonna expect? I think this was like 12 pounds or something, um, but it's cute. So this is what it looks like. So it's got the little constellations, the moons um, in this pastel pink color. It's probably quite hard to see. And then in gray, it just says Sophie Louise. So, okay, are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! Does it look good? I don't know if it does. I feel like I could have done better. The shade names are, so I've gone for like shade names that kind of link with the sort of spacey pattern on it. Um, if I was actually gonna make a palette, I would probably think a little harder about the shade names. I tried to do this as quickly as I could. So the first one is like a very light brown matte shade and it's called Constellation. The next one is like a slightly darker brown and it's in the shade Galaxy. Um, the next one is a bright pink, which is also matte. It's in the shade Planet because there is a pink planet. The next one is like a bright orangey kind of ready tone and it's in the shade Aries, which is my star sign. And then I've got this light shimmery color here, which is in the shade Celestial. because I thought it just kind of, it just looked like the word Celestial. Do you know what I mean? Probs not. Um, then I've got this shimmery kind of 
peachy pinky bright color, which is in the shade Luna. I've got a glittery pinky color in the shade Zodiac. And then I've got this kind of glittery goldy color in the shade Moon. I'm happy with this. It's not like crazy quality or anything, but I think for 12 quid, that is pretty cool. So I'm just gonna start by dipping into a bit of constellation. This would literally be me if I had a palette. So far so good. I'm now gonna take a little bit of Galaxy and I'm just gonna pop that in the corner just to like deepen it up a little bit. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I wanna add in one of the bright colors. So I'm gonna take a bit of Aries and I'm just gonna kind of plonk it somewhere. I don't really know where, but we'll find a place for you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for Celestial and I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. Okay, so the shimmer shade isn't like super pigmented. It's a little bit better when you do it with your finger instead of a brush, but it doesn't show up that much. Like I wasn't blown away by it. It is a pretty color, but it's nothing like too crazy. Is that it? Let's do something on my lower lash line as well. Would it look weird if I put the pink on my lower lash line? That might look weird, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it anyway. I wanna use as many as possible to test them out. So I'm gonna take a bit of Planet and I'm just gonna pop that under my eye. Okay, so this is my eyeshadow look done. It's definitely not my best, but I think it looks all right. I think the eyeshadows work really well. The mattes are really pigmented. The shimmer was all right. So yeah, the other custom product that I wasn't able to get was mascara. So again, I'm just gonna quickly go and do my mascara off camera and then I will be back. So for my custom lipstick, I'm gonna be using a website called Bite Beauty, www. I can't type, bitebeauty.com. Never heard of it, but it just came up when I searched custom lipstick. Okay, so I'm just gonna press get started and we shall see what it says. Craving a bold new look, go for it. <laughs> what is your skin type? Oh, here we go again. There's so many of the same questions on these. My skin type is, I'd say normal to dry. What color are you craving? Um, I'm gonna have to say nude brown because that is probably what I'd normally go for. <gasps> There's an option that says down for anything. Let's just go for that. What's your preferred finish? Well, you've only given me one option, so I'm gonna go with creamy matte. <laughs> Get ready to take a selfie. What? They want to use my camera. Oh, they've, oh, they've hacked into my webcam, hello. Tap or click anywhere on the screen to take a selfie. Okay, oh goodness, this is not gonna be pretty. Finding your custom matches. This is so exciting. <laughs> So it must have taken the photo like way later than I thought it was going to. Why did they need to take a picture of me? Like what, why? <laughs> oh, I see, you get to press try it on. Okay, let's try each one on. So the first one is in the shade Tatin. Ooh, lovely. Um, The next one is in the shade Sugarcane. Oh, we're freezing, it's freezing. My laptop can't cope with this. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's what that one looks like. I can't get over that photo, like honestly. <laughs> And then the last one is in the shade Stinger. So I think that's the red one. It's completely like freezing. It's really struggling. Oh my goodness. Okay, my laptop is seriously struggling with this website. I don't know why, but it's just going crazy. I think I'm just gonna go for the middle shade, which is Sugarcane. So I'm just gonna add that to cart. It is $24. Um, and you get a free mirror as well. Oh yeah. So yeah, that is my lipstick done. Hopefully it's nice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's a pretty big box for one lipstick, but let's have a look and see. I can't even remember what shade I went for. Like, I have no idea what this is. I've completely forgotten. So I've got my little free mirror, and then this is the lipstick. So this is what it looks like. What 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 is it? Power Move Creamy Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Sugarcane. <gasps> That packaging is so nice. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, ooh, smells really nice. Like that is a nice scented lip product. And yeah, it just looks like a pinky nude color. I think I will really like this shade. A 
and looks pretty nice, doesn't it? It's just like a nice pinky nude color, just as I said, and it applied really nicely, really nice, like creamy formula. Weirdly, once you put it on, it doesn't smell so nice. Like I'm getting a weird scent now from it. I don't know why, but yeah, it's a really nice lip product. It applied pretty perfectly. So yeah, this is my makeup done. This is a full face, well, almost a full face of makeup using only custom beauty products. I think it looks quite nice. The overall look is pretty good. I'm now just gonna go about my day and I'm gonna check back in later and we'll see how it's lasted. It's gonna be a real test today with the heat. We'll see how this makeup lasts. See you later, bye. This flavour of J2O, orange and cranberry, so good. Like by far the best flavour of all of them. It's so nice. Um, hello, I'm back. It's been a while. It's actually not that late, but I just need to get my makeup off. Like I don't want it on my face any longer. It's coming off. I think it's been on me for... It's probably been about eight hours. So I think that's long enough to test it out. So yeah, after eight hours, this is what it's looking like. Obviously the lip stuff has come off because I've been eating, I've been drinking. My eyes still look okay like the eyeshadow still I always say eyeshadow weird like eyeshadow the eyeshadow has lasted pretty well it's still there I can still see it so that's good um, and my skin looks quite nice still I thought it would have been a lot more oily by now because it's been so hot but I'd say it's lasted pretty well I mean obviously it does look oily like I do look a little bit damp but I thought it would be a lot worse so I would say the makeup has lasted pretty well so now Mm -mm -mm. So now I need to take my makeup off, which I am very excited about. I don't have a custom beauty product to take my makeup off. The cleanser isn't like a makeup remover, so I'm just gonna have to take my makeup off and then I will see you guys again up in my bathroom. I'm gonna have a shower, which I'm very excited about. See you in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so I've just got out of the shower. As you can see, my hair is still looking, <gasps> there's a moth, ew. Um, as you can see, my hair is still looking wet and I actually used a custom shampoo and conditioner. You can probably guess which one I used. <laughs> So to wash my hair, obviously I'm gonna use my Function of Beauty. This is not sponsored. I know I've done quite a few videos with them before, but this is actually not sponsored. It just kind of made sense to include them in this video because A, I use them every day anyway, and B, they're a custom beauty product. So just in case any of you haven't seen, I'll like run through on the website what it looks like because I've done that with all the others, but I won't actually be making an order because I've already got it. So www, <laughs> you're right there. www.functionofbeauty dot com take the quiz and then it just says build your hair profile so i go for straight because i'd say my natural hair is quite straight hair structure medium moisture normal and then you go continue select up to five hair goals i do deep condition fix split ends hydrate strengthen and color protection i get the fragrance nude peach and then i go for a medium strength i put my name on it and then for the colors i do the shampoo as like a greeny color and the conditioner as the pink and that is it done really these come to 39 pound for the big one 29 pound for the little one which i know like even though i work with them i am aware that is quite a lot but obviously i work with them because i've decided that it's worth the money I think that's everything that I need to order. That was really fun. Like I wish there was more stuff that I could do. Like I love doing all the little quizzes, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about these because you've probably seen me talk about them quite a few times before on my channel. Um, like I said, this is not a sponsored one. I just felt like they fitted in with this video pretty perfectly. So yeah, these are the products I just used on my hair. Okay, so for my evening skincare routine, I'm gonna be using the cleanser again. I'm not gonna film it again because that's kind of boring. You've already seen that. I'm gonna be using the moisturizer again, but I'm also gonna be using this serum thing which i haven't tried yet so i'll film me testing this out first of all let me give my skin a little cleanse with my orange stuff again oh okay let's try the serum it says give this serum a gentle shake to activate i did that without even knowing i was already giving it a shake and then it says apply a few drops to oh my goodness apply a few drops to problem areas before you use your moisturizer okay um, okay, so I'm just gonna squeeze it, let go, and then it should, oh, there it is. Um, I'm gonna squirt a little bit here, very runny. Okay, there we go, I've just put three little splodges on, and now I guess I'm just gonna rub it into my skin. Okay, so I've just rubbed it in, it's left my skin feeling a little bit sticky, I guess, it's just like a bit 
I don't know, but I mean, it's okay. It's, it's really sticky, like really sticky. I think that is it for this video. Those are all of the products that I have to test and I'm basically just gonna go to bed now. So for the rest of the 24 hours, I'm gonna be sleeping or at least trying to in this heat. I think it went quite well. I think most of the products were pretty great. So custom beauty products, get a thumbs up from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.